If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. everybody good guys morning to you i pray all is well with you on this fine sunday morning it's sunday morning another day the lord has made and we will we shall beloved say with me we're going to rejoice and be glad in it so good guys morning to you this morning well uh let's get our scripture this morning because we're on a mission this morning victory in christ i hope that you are are ready and on your way uh, getting ready, going, going, uh, getting ready to meet us at the church this morning. Uh, this sun, bro, this sun is bright, isn't it? Isn't it great? Look at God. All right, let's get our scripture for this morning, beloved. Our scripture is going to be coming from John 15, verse 7. John 15 and verse 7. I apologize for maybe possibly some interruptions and stuff in the uh, broadcast this morning, but we are traveling, so service may not be too good okay but i invite you to go back and listen to it later if you get a chance john chapter 15 and verse 7 and it reads it says if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask what you wish and it will be done for you if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask what you wish and it shall it will be done for you one thing about you know when we you have, you have to be real kind of, if I may say, careful when we tell people or when we tell, you know, as preachers, you know, we, we, we want to encourage and hype folk up and, you know, all this other stuff and tell them, you know, ask of the Lord and the Lord give it and whatever's yours, it's yours and, you know, naming and claiming. I don't do too much of that naming and claiming and stuff because one thing that I've learned as a, a child of God and maturing in the word of God is that if my life is not aligned to what God's promises for me are, I still won't be able to get it because God will not give us no more than what we can bear. And if I'm not in a position to where I'm I'm, I'm going to be a good steward of what God has given to me, if I'm not in a position to where that 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 what he has for me i am ready for it my character is 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 able to maintain me in this situation or in the promotion in the whatever whatever the case may be god is not going to give it to me let's just face the reality stop listening to these people that say just naming and claiming it's yours what god has for you it is for you beloved what god has for you it is for you but are you in position to receive it that's it that's it huh are you in position to receive it? Can you maintain within it? Uh, we want the car, but yet we can't pay. We can't pay the car we got. That's we can't right. maintain the car we got. We want the stuff. We want the money. We want the fame, the fortune. But is it? Is it in, in asking of that? Are we reverting all of that back to Christ? Is what I'm asking for going to benefit the kingdom of God? Is if what I'm asking for and what I'm desiring is it going to build and uplift the kingdom of God? God has no problem with giving us what we want, what we ask for. But the question we must ask ourselves is, if I'm asking it, is it according to God's will? The scripture says, another scripture says, that God will not give us, he, he knows that when we ask of him, he knows that we will not ask amiss. If we got the word of God in our hearts, we will know what God's plan and desire is for our life. And we won't ask of him anything that is not according to his will. Okay? Amen. So the day when you ask God and when you start praying and, and naming it and claiming it, be honest with yourself and ask yourself, self, can I handle what I'm asking God for? That's oh, right. look at that sun. That sun is beaming, shining and bright. Praise God. Ask yourself, self, can I handle what I'm asking God for? Amen. 
Come on, beloved. Let's pray this morning. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just want to tell you thank you this morning. We want to tell you thank you for all that you've done, all that you are doing. And Father, I pray now in Jesus' name that, that we take your word, oh God, and that we hide it in our hearts. That the Bible says that we may not sin against you. God, we don't know everything, and we don't, I hope we don't profess to know everything, but God, Lord, help us to receive your word, get revelations and truth from your word, oh God, so that we can be governed by, govern our life by your word. Father, we dare not ask you anything amiss. We dare not ask you anything that is not according to your will, but God, grant us favor, grant us God, our, our heart's desire according to our heart condition. Ooh, good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Lord, if you found us to be good stewards, God, go, give it to us, Lord. If you found us to be faithful, God, I know you will grant it to us. We thank you. We give you glory, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. The people of God said amen with me. Amen, amen, amen. Amen and amen. Well, good guys morning again to each and every one of you. Listen, Victor and Christ, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in a few minutes uh, within the hour. And uh, I'll, I'll, we're, we're headed to Fateville. So again, beloved, if you're watching and you wanted to come to visit our church this morning, I do apologize. But we are on our way to North Carolina. All right, North Carolina. We're on our way to North Carolina to fellowship with our fellow sister and brother church. And so God bless you today. Listen, look, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow, same time, same place for another Good God's Morning Moment. Join us today at 11 o'clock. The service will be live streamed from our location in Fateville, okay? Good God's morning to you. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good God's morning. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.